Hi and welcome to Free Excel tutorial videos. Uh, in this video today, I would want to show you how to use Excel formulas. Okay, first of all, uh, Excel is a very powerful application that allows us to organize our data, but it also allows us to do a lot of different sort of calculations and analysis. You know, from simple calculations to complex calculations by using certain functions available in Excel. But let's start with something simple here today. Let me show you the basics on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay, you can use, you can use Excel to add simply by typing the equal sign, right? Let me show you right here. Um, okay, here equals say you want to add, so let's type a number and then one eight three followed by the plus sign and followed by the number that you want to add okay, and you hit enter you can see that excel will automatically show you the result okay it's 202 okay uh if you notice the formula bar right here you will see let me just zoom in more okay you will see the formula that is being used okay which is 183 plus 29 okay so say you wanna you wanna subtract, so let's do the same thing. Just press equals one or three and subtract by nine and hit enter. Okay, and you can see the formula right here in the formula bar. To multiply, it's this is the same thing. You can just press one two, three and put the plus the what you call the star sign. This is the Multiple multiply sign in Excel. I'm going to do the same thing with uh, multiply 180, multiply 29, and hit enter. And you can see the formula in the formula bar. And last but not least, we have divide. So we put equals and we put 183 and we use the divide symbol 9 and hit enter. Okay. So in each of the cell that you see right here, you can see the formula in each of the uh, sort of calculations that we made. Okay, so that is just a few basic formula you can often use in Excel. Okay, um, so now let's move to something that is more complicated, something like uh, finding totals. And I have here to show you that I have here a set of information data on the expenses on entertainment. And I have here the details of the expenditure, uh, satellite TV, video rental, oh, sorry for the wrong spelling, movies, CDs, and the total. Okay, so to calculate the total, the first thing that I want to, to do is to select where I want the total to be, okay, where I want the answer, the total. So in this case, it's gonna be this, this cell over here. And then, uh in cases like addition it's easy to do by looking for this symbol over here auto sum all right okay so i'm just going to click this okay the first thing you notice is once i click that symbol you will see automatically you see the cells being selected by excel okay you can also see the formula that is being used and you can see the formula starts with the equal sign, sum, parenthesis, B4, which is the uh, this cell over here uh, in the B column and row number four, colon, and B7, which is the 1898 here, column B and rows number seven, and then close parenthesis. So you can see how Excel works, okay? And if you see the function bar, you can see the same formula being displayed right here and here, okay? And the, the colon in this area here actually symbolize the range of the data. In this case, it's from B4 here right down to here, okay? The ones that have been highlighted, okay? So when I press enter, I will see the result in that cell, in this cell, which we selected. And uh, you can see the formula up here 
is already in this cell. Okay. So say that now I want to calculate the same thing. I want to calculate the totals for February. Okay. Instead of going here, auto sum and do the repeat the process, I can just copy the formula from the cell right here. Okay. Just select the cell where you want to copy the formula and move the mouse cursor to the right, a lower right of the cell, and you can see this black cross. Okay, when you see that, just click your mouse and drag it to the cell to the right. Okay, and when you release the button, you will see the result of the calculations for the expenses for February. Okay. Which is the end, which is the add up of all these four uh, amount. So if you put the the you click on this cell over here, you can see the formula up here is exactly the same, but now the range of data has been changed to C four colon C seven. Okay. So the use of it of this is is to select the signify that uh, we have. Uh, selected a different specific cells and different specific range of uh, data. Okay. Now I want to show you a different type of calculation which uh, is not a common one where we add from the top to bottom. Okay. So I want to show you a calculation uh, say that I want to have a total not of everything but the total of CDs and video rentals. Okay, just these two. Okay, so I'm just going to click anywhere in, in the cell in, in the in the spreadsheet. Okay, let me let me just click here. And I would like to do this by using Excel formula. Okay, so the first step is always equals so i'm going to choose um sum okay i'm going to use this function over here okay you double click on this one and you can see the excel automatically opens up a parenthesis for you and then i'm going to click c5 okay column c i'm going to calculate the ones for february so i'm going to click c5 okay and then click C C five. Uh, and put in a comma. Is it a comma? C seven. Close parenthesis and enter. Okay. okay. Let me show you one more time. So I'm gonna put here two calls. Sound. I'm gonna select this one. What it does is it opens up for you, okay? So you click on the first uh, data that you want, and then you put comma, okay? The reason I put comma here is because we are not selecting a range of data, like from, from row number four to row number seven. We are selecting a specific uh, set of data, which is only two out of all these four rows here. So now this is select. Now I'm going to select the second one, which is CD. So I have here the C5 for the cost of the video rental, C7 for the cost of the CDs for February. Close parentheses and enter. So this is the amount that I spent on video rentals and and CDs for the month of February. Okay. So you see, Excel is a very convenient tool that you can use to track your expenses. So I like. I hope that you. Uh, learn something from this video and thanks for watching.